hey and welcome to this treasure hunting Tuesday of another um, altered eco dye with watercolor video so today I'm using my master's touch watercolors and this is how they come in the tubes this is what they look like and I always like to make a little chart whenever I have watercolors. I just like to keep charts like this is for the tubes. And then I, I pour out a little bit of each color into a palette that closes up. And here. Thought I had it put away. Here it is. And this is a Master's Touch palette from Hobby Lobby. The paints are from Hobby Lobby. So that's how that looks. And then this just lives under this tray. This is how I like to do it. And then everything lines up just like that with the colors. I like a nice organized system. When I was making the chart, I used my little um, palette here. I like this little plate I use. It's nice and long. You can fit a lot of color on it and I caught it at Walmart and then I just like to use some round brushes and then I had gotten all those colors out here to make the chart so I've got all this paint on here and I really like the most of the colors on here plus I can mix these down and mute them even more so today I really just want to play around doing that I've also got my sonnet set handy and same thing it gives you this little plastic color name sheet with the kit this is my 24 color sonnet and then these are the little pal or little swatches that I have made using this set I just mixed these and then I indicated my mixture of you know a lot of red a little yellow a little blue and then these are the warms and these are the cools using of course cool primaries and warm primaries and then this is just a basic swatch of what's in here right out of the pan so it's fun to do this it gives you a really good idea of how your colors are gonna blend out and how you know just exactly what colors you're getting so this is fun in and of itself to do when you get a new color kit all right so onward we go here I've been talking in a lot of my videos lately and while I like to do that I don't always like to do that so for today what I'm going to do is bring you in a bit. Just going to enjoy the process of painting kind of quietly because I like to talk and work, but I like to just work <laughs> sometimes too. So real quick, I do want to let you know what these colors are, but I always invite you to just pick what you like and mess around with it. There's lots of really good color mixing videos here on YouTube, but um, just go for what you like. But I will show you what I've got here. This is Burnt Umber, Raw Umber, Indian Red right here, Burnt Sienna here. Permanent Rose, Gamboge, Olive Green, Blue Green, Payne's Gray, and Indigo. Okay, and then over here is some mix it looks like that I made and I'm not sure out of what. So <laughs> we'll just use it.
Okay, now I want to play around with the leaves themselves and I thought I would do a combination of this beautiful orangey color and then the gamboge down here in this corner here. So maybe a little bit of olive green too. I'll just see how I feel as I go. I've also moved from a large number two to a number seven round. For this, I just want a little bit more control.
Okay, so I wanted a little bit more dark and dramatic here with this. And as you saw, I went ahead and mixed up some of this sepia color here. And it's just a real matte. I love this matte color. I want to kind of tone all this down. And I think it's doing a pretty good job. Now, before I started this step, I dried the leaves completely just so I wouldn't get any bleed. So um, let's go ahead and move onward. Okay, so this is my Modern Masters metallic watercolor set, and I'm just going to activate this gold on the end here. And for the final step, I just want to do some gold spatter on these leaves. Okay, so here this is all done, and I really like how it came out. Um, I definitely want to test, though, colors on another piece of paper before I start. This came together in the back, but I would have liked it to be a little bit of a cooler. So, you know, I'm learning and practicing. I think it's kind of fun, too, how um, quite amazing, actually, the difference between the original and the watercolored one. So of course another option is to just do the leaves and leave the background as is. And I definitely want to explore more of that. So I did have a request for the other two watercolor eco dyes that I did. The sample one I did, um, that video is out. And somebody wanted to purchase those. So I decided I really want to do quite a bunch of these. And I'm just going to do however many I don't know yet how big the pack's gonna be but I'm gonna make a bunch of these watercolored um, altered eco dyes and then just throw them all in a kit together and put them in my Etsy shop and of course I will film them all as I make them and then announce it when the whole kit's ready to go so if you haven't subscribed yet please by all means do I invite you to as always and I will see you real soon for more fun projects have a great day